Yeah. So this is a Daisy Award that was written. And mm -hmm. My name is Tony Mueller, and I'm going to give just a little tidbit about the Daisy Award. Can you hear me back there? Oh. Okay. So the, the, the history of the Daisy Award started in 1999 when a patient, Patrick Barnes, was diagnosed with idiopathic thrombocytopenia pura pura. And during his hospitalization, Patrick and his family experienced what they said was the best nursing care ever, just like you gave. <laughs> The nurses were the ones that dealt with his complex medical situation and provided loving care. It was the nursing excellence, kindness, and compassion during Patrick's hospitalization that the family remembered. The nurses were always present, always caring, and always comforting them during this time. Days after, when, after Patrick had passed, the family asked about what could they do to recognize these special caring nurses. And his wife came up with the acronym DAISY, Diseases Attacking the Immune System. This was the beginning of the DAISY Award that is given for extraordinary compassionate nurses giving great care. The DAISY Award is a recognition used in healthcare facilities across the United States and internationally, and it was established then to celebrate the extraordinary care delivered by nurses just like you. And now the nurse manager will give a little description. Okay, so first I'd like to tell you a little bit about Morgan. Morgan has a BS from the University of Iowa in Recreation Therapy and received, a AD, received her ADM from Kirkwood and her BSM from Morning Psych College in Sioux City. She began her experience in the Burn Trauma Center as a nursing student and became a staff nurse in February of 2014. Morgan is an amazing part of our team. Her passion for caring for patients with burn injuries is evident in her everyday practice. Morgan has received recognition in the past from families who have also been exposed to her caring nature. The compassion Morgan demonstrated to Angela and her family is evident in her daily practice as her na is her nature to go above and beyond. Morgan cares about unit outcomes and always has a voice when it comes to finding a way to make things better. She has on more than one occasion told me she's a burn unit lifer. I'm proud to be part of Morgan's Daisy Award presentation. Congratulations. <laughs> On behalf of Brian Hanley and Angela and Rachel and the rest of the family, I would like to read her nomination. Morgan started looking after my wife and family when my wife was admitted. She was one of two nurses in charge of her admit and her injury is worse than reported. During my wife's 104 days at the university, Morgan often changed her schedule to be my wife's nurse. My daughter and son, along with myself, often looked to her during this stressful time. She became family, our eyes and ears and gave us comfort when we weren't there that Miss Ange, as she called my wife, was well looked after. She always seemed to know what my wife, kids, or I needed before we did. While my wife was sedated, she talked to her as if she were awake, explaining everything she was doing. She pushed my wife and she didn't want to do something because of pain or anxiety, always finding a way to get her to do what she needed to go for that next step. She was a nurse taking over when my wife went into septic shock and explained everything to me over the phone what was going on. Weeks later, she was with my wife and daughter when my wife coded, taking charge of the situation, never getting excited to not worry my daughter. She got doctors in the room and took care of my wife as well as my daughter. After reviving my wife, still getting her ready to be taken down for tests, she made sure that somebody had contacted me. She is an amazing nurse and a wonderful person. My wife is still with us today because of her. We came back from rehab or follow-up surgeries and Morgan picked up where she left off, giving my wife amazing care and getting all her questions answered. Right before my wife's accident, my daughter graduated from high school early. Angie wanted to see her walk down the aisle, but with being in the burn unit, Morgan went to work, found a little cake, made a cap from cardboard, and burned it, and used a blue bath gown and nurses wear to give baths as a gown and get a hold of some confetti. She put my wife and myself at the end of the hall and asked my daughter to come with her. All she told me was I would want my camera out. Then around the corner came Morgan and my daughter in her cap and gown. The nurses and RNs taking care of patients were there with confetti and presented her with a diploma they made. I haven't seen my wife this happy since this <laughs> You have a special class of nurses in the burden center. I wish I could nominate every one of them and the RNs. Even peaches grew on us. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Morgan. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. to give you a few goodies if you want okay. to step over here. You can put them all in your bag, especially made for you. Okay. 
So here's your pin. I hope you can grab very proudly. And the nomination is in here for you. Okay. Thank you. We also have the frame for you as well. And, um, okay. Did you see your sign on I did. Yeah. <laughs> I know Patrick loves cinnamon rolls, so can you a little cinnamon? Okay. I remember that a lot. <laughs> and this is really very precious. It's made by people in the way. You've heard about that? And each one's a little bit different, so display this for everyone you would like. Thank you. And most importantly, here's your date. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.